Okay, Sunday the 17th of May. Just an opening shot of the laburnum in the garden. Which tends to flower considerably every second year. And this is the second year. So, looks like it'll do well. Get the trees that we've put out. I don't know if I've shown these before, but the big post you can see there and there. I'm going to tension some wire between the two of them and hopefully have a spallied apple trees. They're the ones that I grafted myself. Different varieties, I think. I think each of them are different varieties. But I'm not entirely sure. That is on them, I'll need to check. But I've made sure that all the varieties I did use were spur bearers, which I think they have to be. Don't think you can have a tip bearer for this ballet, so it's an important consideration. And just a quick look at the beds. Got the potatoes close by, didn't plant them too deep. Early potatoes just manured over the top. I've got some multi sown beetroot, all hardy for the, mo for the most part, sorry. And golden beetroot up the top of the bed, fleeced over. Get some red onions here. And I get some greyhound cabbage up there. I've got some parsnips that I'm trying to grow in here. I've never grown them before, and they are meant to be quite difficult. You can see them coming on there. Just sowed a few in little clumps. Didn't pre soak them or anything fancy. But I don't know how they'll do. I think they are meant to be quite difficult to grow. Get carrots up the top of the bed. And you can see they're much further on than the ones at the very top. The ones at the very top didn't germinate very well. And so I sowed them again with autumn king carrots, which will be slower to grow than the than the ones that are in here, which were early 90s too, I think. Whatever the difference between 90s and 90s too. But, again, top bed. Similar thing happened, which was strange, but the carrots in the top four rows didn't germinate very well, and so I put more Autumn King in there. And then, bottom of the bed, just the early 90s too again. You can see it's kind of difficult to weed at the moment because the plants are young and they're getting battered about a bit, so I don't want to be hoeing between them too much. And obviously there is some rogue potatoes still coming up, but that's that for the moment. Got the onions there, which are doing okay. I should have had them fleeced. I'm going to post a little video that I'm going to try and uh, put together about how I'm growing the onions and I'll explain on it that I had the fleece on but with an unusually good weather and so I ended up taking the fleece off. But I think that might have been a mistake because here in Scotland we still get some bad weather even in May so they've been hit with quite a few frosts and although it's not killed them it's probably slowed them. Did plant marigolds outside, but the frost seemed to have just killed them off. As you can see, the calendulas in the back though, they're doing a bit better. Then just the bigger ones on the back. Anyway, can't find your poppies in the wall. Jump over and show you the other beds. My grandpa's house over there in the entrance. I suppose if you stay in America, you might not see too many things that look like that, but that was the gatehouse to Calderwood Castle. And the big pillars were brought up here to give the, there was gates attached obviously, to give the place more of a grand entrance. And you can see there is still quite a lot of plants left over from the days when that would have been a big runway up to the castle, I'll show you in a second, but there's big rhododendrons and oak trees and whatnot up here. This has been excavated, this isn't the actual old runway, but it does, it does run up here. Big beech tree there. But yeah, so the runway would have been right up there. So, 
as I rode through there, there now but at one point that would have been a run way up to quite a grand castle anyway I suppose the house does look quite nice, quite gothic looking anyway and have a look at what we've planted in the beds around here we manured this bed not too long ago and then we've just planted the celery there the spacings aren't well they're not uh, equidistant because initially we thought there might have been a need to have about two feet between each row but I think that might have been for varieties that you have to earth up for them to blanch whereas these are self blanching so after having planted about two feet apart cut it down to a foot and a half they look quite healthy but I think celery are quite hard to grow from what I read online so I'm not holding out loads of hope though you never know they look okay at the moment, I'm going to fleece them over too after giving them a good water a bit of bed space there and some there intend on growing what, what is known as a tumshie in Scotland but I think in England they would call it sweet which still confuses me, turnips and swedes but from now on I'll just call it a tumshie uh, so yes that's all for the moment I believe Thanks very much, stay safe.